Well, welcome back. So um, I'm going to finish the case, and then we're going to move to the immediacy. But we discussed now, before the break, intraoral scanners. And we've seen that they have a kind of discrepancies or inaccuracies. But let's imagine that we have the best intraoral scanner in the world that can give you 100% accuracy, one to one. What is going to do, or what are we going to do next? Look at these two models, two identitialist models, upper and lower. How are you going to fabricate your final restoration? You are missing significant information, which are the planes and references. How are you going to integrate these virtually? That's a problem with intraoral scanners. Because if we think about now so-called virtual registration or virtual mounting, we have three types. The first one is called the basic virtual articulation, which is available in all intraoral scanners. You scan the lower, you scan the upper on the segment, you ask the patient to buy it, and then the algorithm will put the two surfaces or the two scans together, creating the occluding surfaces. This is called, again, basic virtual articulation. The second one is called the advanced virtual articulation, which has been introduced before the first time by uh, Align Technologies, and then it moved to spread to all other manufacturers. It's nothing but the first one. It's the same that the basic, but extends to the complete arc. How to do this? You actually, you put your um, temporaries on this side, you ask the patient to bite on the temporaries, you scan the contralateral aspect, and then once you're done with this side, you remove your temporaries from the other side, and then you swap them, and then you scan again. And then the software will combine the two uh, scans together, upper and lower, giving you the relationship between the both jaws. But we are missing also significant information here.